Hi, Mike. How was the Barbie movie? Yeah, good, thanks. I enjoyed it. But i got to tell you, if I had a dollar for every time a customer complained about the price of cinema food, I could almost afford us more popcorn. <laughs> almost. <laughs> Sounds about right. I've been thinking about our cinema sample that we created recently, and I thought, wouldn't it be good to lift it up into the cloud to demonstrate um, how easy it is to create a truly distributed system? It's a great idea. Let's do it. Okay. So what we had before is, um, if you remember, we used the template, the particular templates to create our endpoints, and we selected uh, the learning transport as one of the options. So what we need to do is pick a, a messaging technology that's cloud-based uh, for our endpoints to communicate through. And end service bus comes with if a various transports uh, implemented out of the box. And one of them is Azure Service Bus. So I thought we would do that. Let's do it. So what we first need to do is add a reference to the Azure End Service Bus, Azure Service Bus Transport package. It's a bit of a tongue twister. And go back to the code where we had our learning transport defined and just change that to now use that Azure Service Bus Transport. Now, if we had known we we're using Azure Service Bus from the start, then we could have, uh, in our template, picked Azure Service Bus and that would have generated the code for us. But there's not too much code to type or paste. So I'm actually storing my Azure Service Bus connection in an environment variable. So I'm getting that here. And then I've basically just replaced this line here to use the learning transport with this line to use the Azure Service Bus Transport. And that's all there is to it. And because we want both our endpoints to communicate, I'll have to do the same on the other endpoint headquarters. So I'll just quickly copy that across. So the package. And that's all we all we need to get the endpoints communicating via Azure Service Bus. What about the, the keys themselves in the Azure namespace? Do we have to create those? Uh, yes and no, because we have this option here, enable installers on the endpoint configuration. Uh, they will actually create all the queues uh, and subscriptions for us. But it's probably not what you would use in a production environment. Um, you'd be more inclined to manually set those up directly in Azure. Yeah, I think we have a command line tool that will do that for you as well. You just give it an endpoint name and it will create the queue for you and set up subscriptions and things. Yes, that's right, we do. So let's give that a go. So now we see the same screens we saw last time, except now they're not running through the file system, uh, but they're running through Azure. So when I press B, it's to sell a Barbie ticket, it goes to an Azure queue and it's received by the headquarters endpoint and we see one ticket sold and then we get our new featured film event being sent again via the Azure queuing system. So Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer. There you go. It works. Nice. So it's, it's distributed in that you've got multiple processes running and they're, they're communicating using a network, but everything is running on your machine. Uh, and in most situations, obviously, uh, th there's going to be more than one cinema selling tickets and they're going to be scattered all over the country. So given that you're on the East Coast and I'm on the West Coast and there's thousands of kilometers of desert between us, um, why don't I grab that code and run the ticket sales sample locally on my machine? Like I've got the same... Azure Service Bus namespace set up in my environment variables, and we'll prove that this is truly a distributed scenario. That is an awesome idea. So let me know when you're ready with your endpoint. All right, let me just download the changes that you've made. So what sort of cinemas do seals go to? I don't know. <laughs> Dive-ins. <laughs> Okay, well, I have my endpoint running. Okay, so our current feature film is Oppenheimer. It's leading by one, so I'll let you, I'm not touching the screen, I'll let you buy a Barbie ticket. All right, B for Barbie. Go. Two each, buy another one, and we should see a featured film change. New featured film is Barbie. <laughs> I get that. I get that message as well, which is exactly what we'd expect. That's right, it's quite magical.
So we have basically taken this scenario here and without any code changes, have created a more distributed system just by uh, creating another instance of the ticket sales endpoint. And yeah. just by the nature of uh, how this works, uh, Cinema Headquarters, when it publishes that the feature film changed event, it goes to both the endpoints. And we did it in under an hour too. Like we could have done it in a lunch break. Let's um yes. let's upload this video to go with the other one so that people can see how easy it is to get endpoints from the sample communicating via the cloud. It's a great idea. I shall do that. Thanks for the catch up and I'll see you next time. Bye.